Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to multitask on the Garmin Fenix 6X Pro. So yeah, let's get a, let's uh, take a look at a scenario where uh, I found myself yesterday. I was lifting, lifting weights basically in my house, cooking in the same time and I wanted to measure the time, the passing of time. So what I needed to do is open up free training uh, where we're lifting weights basically. You press the top right button, you go in strength training, and then free, hit free. Free is, um, it just gives you the option of doing uh, anything you want with weights, or it, it measures basically the sets and the, the reps in between and the, the time passes, you know, the resting time and the, how long the set takes, basically. So you go in free, and then you start. That says the, that's the first set, basically. You move. Uh, it, this is this is just move, measures the movement of the watch. You know, so you're you're taking biceps, then your arm moves, and then it counts the reps. And once you finish with the set, you hit the orange button, and then it starts to measure the resting time. So what I wanted to do from here is, while I was training, I was I was also cooking in the same time. And you, you don't want to food to burn the food, basically. Then you want to put a timer on. Um, when you want to do that, you, I have a shortcut set for uh, the top right button. If I long press it, the countdown comes in. You can set the minutes and hours and the seconds actually within this menu. I, uh, this is very useful. So at zero hours I need, um, let's see, uh, zero minutes just for the sake of the video. And then 35 seconds is going to be fine. You hit the green button green, and then you to start it again. So this is running. If you want to go back to your training, you just hit the back button from here, which is down here. And then you're back in training. You do another set. You start with the orangey button at the bottom. Move it, one, two, three, whatever reps. Stop it again, rest in time cups up. And while you're doing this in the same time, you want to have the stopwatch running as well. Um, you have to, so that my shortcut for the stopwatch is these two buttons in the same time. It's a combination. But you can also have uh, one at a time. This was actually running already. For some reason, I reset, and then I start. Oh, time in the meantime, time timer is done. So you go okay. You start stopwatch. Uh, option. If you hit the option button from here, from the stopwatch, you can go to watch face. So it's everything's running normal. You want to go back to your training. One button. You press the one, the top button once. You go back to your training. You do another set. Oh, but I need another. Let's see, 35 seconds for for another reminder, basically, to set the timer. So remember this time the stopwatch running. I'm training, and uh, I'll set a kind down as well. <clears throat> Hit the back. I'm back at training. And then let, let's say I'm training at the moment, but I'm looking for my phone. I lost my phone, and there's a really good option in, in Garmin, which uh, allows you to find your phone, basically. I think it uses the GPS location of your phone. I'm not, not actually 100% sure what's, how it's uh, working. But you can go uh, long press this top button here. This menu comes up. This is a the default setting, but you can change it, I'm sure. Within uh, this menu, you actually um, you can do many different things, you know, like um, payments, contactless payments. Woof, timer's done again. Well, that's a good thing, I, my cooking's not gonna burn. But I need my phone quickly, so I find my phone. And then because my phone's right beside me, um, it shows me all the green, all the circles fully up. It's, when, when you're far away from your phone, it starts from the bottom, two red squares showing you and when you get closer to your phone if you get closer it's like hot 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 hotter hotter and then cold when you get away it just goes back to red so yeah it's pretty uh, handy as you can see uh, you can use this watch for to multitask and to do many different things at the same time this is a very handy feature and uh, not at all gimmicky it, this that's what you will need it's good to know and uh, yeah it makes your life easier and then you go back to your training when you want to stop it, you just hit, hit stop. And because this is not a real train, obviously, I need to not save it. You go down or up within the menu. This time we go down and then discard it. Discard and yes. So that's that. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you uh, have any questions, please uh, type it down below. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe.
and hit the like button. And see you in the next one. Bye.